Welcome. I'm Joan Worley and this is the TV Stretch and Flex class. We've been talking about healthy habits and habits that we should correct. Uh, one that we overlook quite often is our sleeping patterns. A lot of people don't get enough sleep, especially in our hectic life. We're always on the go. And you might find that the only time you sleep is when you sit down for the stretching class and you start to droop. If that's happening, you are not getting enough sleep. So what I'd like you to do is take a log this week and figure out when you go to bed and when you wake up, how many hours, and do you feel refreshed when you wake up? Do you have to use the alarm and hit it three times before you get up? And let's see some patterns and see if we can make some corrections. All right, let's get started. Stretch and flex. Cross your legs, sitting up nice and tall. And we're gonna work on our breath, focusing in. Try not to fall asleep while we're doing it today. Deep breath in, expand your belly. And exhale, bring that belly button in to your spine. Good. And again, breathe in. Again, if you want to put your hands on your stomach so you make sure you're breathing nice and deep, go right ahead. If not, you can keep your hands on your knees and close your eyes. Each time you breathe, try and go a little bit deeper, a little bit longer, press out. Keep breathing nice and slow. Now let's start moving forward with our breath. Move, lean forward, open your chest, deep breath in, keep breathing in. And when you can't breathe anymore, start to exhale slowly, bring that belly button back. And you may all be going at a different tempo depending on your breath and your control. Keep stretching. Each time you go, go a little bit farther. Get a nice stretch. Start warming up your body. And remember, before you sit, sit down for this stretch, you want to be warm. You don't want to just roll out of bed. You want to take a hike to the mailbox or, heaven forbid, vacuum your house really quick or do some windows or anything to just get that blood going. OK, a couple more. Stretch even farther, take your time, and back. Complete one more when you're done. Just wait in the neutral position and we'll all catch up with you. Excellent. Okay, let's do a, a straddle stretch. We're going to do a side straddle stretch, and let me explain it. We're going to turn and tr twist at our waist, try and get our shoulders over our knee, forehead down, and we're going to do a flat back stretch. Then we're going to round our back. Then we're going to walk our hands to the other leg, trying to stay nice and low. And while we're here, we might hold this for a bit. Then we're going to walk over to the other leg, shoulders square to the leg, and then come on up and then we'll reverse the process. Okay, so you have a nice stretch. Sure your legs out far enough so you feel a nice stretch before we even get started. I want to keep your toes and knees straight up. All right, let's turn, twist at your waist, take a deep breath in, flat back, lean forward. Now your hands can be on your leg, or on both sides of your leg, whatever you want. Now I'm finding I'm holding myself tight and I'm not able to get as far as I usually go. So I'm going to take a deep breath in. Exhale, try and relax with that flat back. And I want to shake my legs a little bit, just be sure I'm not holding them tight. And take a deep breath in. I want you to tuck your chin around your back, still stretching over that leg. Easy breathing. Now very slowly take that one arm to the center, bring your body around, walking your hands over. Now stay in the center, toes and knees are still straight up. Back is rounded. Stretch a little bit farther forward with your hands. Shoulders are relaxed, elbows are bent. Relax, you might be very tight on the inside of your thigh. Just wanna relax wherever you're tight. And then start walking your hands nice and slow, take your body with you to the other leg. And you might be a little bit lower than you were when you first started. Try and get your forehead down towards your knee and just relax using your breath. If you need an extended stretch and this isn't doing it, you can walk your hands closer to your feet or to your foot 
And if you're really flexible, you can put your hands on the bottom of your feet. But again, you want to keep your elbows so, somewhat bent, opposed to up by your shoulders. You want to keep nice and relaxed. And as slow as you can, let's roll back up. Take your time, take your time. Nice stretch. Now, if you felt you need the legs a little farther apart, go ahead and adjust. And we're gonna go to the other side. Twist, take a deep breath in. Exhale, flat back first, flat back. Be sure your tush is evenly pressed on the ground. You're nice and grounded, not lifting your hip. Flat back, use your breath. Keep relaxing. You find yourself holding, you wanna relax with the breath. Take a deep breath in, tuck your chin, round your back, and go a little bit farther. Again, you can walk your hands closer to the bottom of your foot or hold on to the bottom of your foot if you're there. If not, let's say you're sitting up and this is as far as you can go and you've got a great stretch going, that's where you need to keep that stretch. Just use your breath, get the most out of it you can. Very slowly, let's walk our hands to the center. Walk your hands over, you're still staying low. Round it back. Now while you're here, I want you to take a deep breath in and see if you can go a little bit farther forward to extend the stretch. And walk your hands over to the other side, other leg. Stay as low as you can. Try and get your forehead towards your knee. And as slow as you can, roll back up. Great. We're going to do that again both sides, but let's bring our legs in and just give them a little break. And when you're ready, let's get them out again. So stretch them out. Sitting up nice and tall. All right. Let's do a nice twist. Face that leg. Deep breath in. Flat back. Walk your hands. Take your time. Just take your time. Try and get that flat back. Pretend I'm pushing you in your lower back from your waist down. Toes are up. Knees are up. Take a nice breath in again. Exhale, tuck your chin around your back and see if you can move your hands a little farther forward, but keep those elbows bent, shoulders relaxed, head relaxed. Slowly walk your hands to the center. Now, if you put your legs farther apart, the second time that you started this stretch, you're not gonna be able to go as far down. Okay, keep stretching. Relax, use the breath. And as slow as you can, walk those hands to the other side. Keep your chest nice and low. And continue to stretch. Use your breath each time relax. And as slow as you can, roll up. Nice. Great. All right, one more time the other direction. Sitting up nice and tall, deep breath in. Exhale, twist, go straight over the flat back. That's it, nice and easy. Use your breath, relax. Tuck your chin, round your back, exhale, and go for the stretch. Very slowly walk your hands to the center, keeping that stretch extended. All right, now we're in the center, and I want you to take a breath in. Try and relax, maybe walk your hands a little farther forward. Relax those thighs. Nice, nice. And start walking your hands to the other side. Over the leg. Use your breath. Try not to let your toes roll in. And very slowly roll up. Oh, nice. Nice stretch. Okay, now we're gonna go to the double leg lifts. So we need to get on our side. Might need to bring your legs in with your hands, help them a little. Okay. Now, double leg lifts. We've been working on our strength of our stomach and our back, our trunk muscles. And what we want to do is have the top hand right in front of your chest so that you don't roll forward or back. Because if you lift both legs and roll back, you're going to strain your back. You want to keep it nice and straight. Now for some, you're not going to even be able to get your legs off the mat. You're going to take a deep breath in. 
You're going to contract your muscles and lift as high as you can and then lower slowly or keep them where they are and just strengthen them. Um, for those that can get a little bit higher, go right ahead. When you lift, you don't want to bring your legs forward. You want to keep them right in the straight angle. Okay, let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, focus all your energy. Exhale, lift your legs, keep them together. All right, now think about your stomach, your back, your thighs, everything holding tight. You don't want to point your toes because you might get a cramp in them. You want to just have them nice and relaxed. And as slow as you can, lower. Nice. And bend your knees, give yourself a break for a moment. Okay, and we're gonna do it two more times. But each time you do it, do it as if this is the only time we're gonna do, and use that strength, pull from inner, your in, in trunk muscles. Okay, ready? Deep breath in. Exhale, lift up. Now go to easy breathing as you're holding. Tighten, 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 hold, hold, hold. That's it. Now if you need to lower, go ahead. If you can, hold it and very slowly lower down and bend your knees. Great. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. Deep breath in, exhale, straighten those legs, lift them up, hold, go to easy breathing, keep holding. Close your eyes, feel the strength in your stomach and your back and your thighs as you're holding. And as slow as you can, lower, nice, and bend. Okay, let's go to the other side so you can push yourself up. Swing those legs around. Don't be discouraged, because this is the first time we've done something this hard. So if you can't get the legs off the ground or you can only do it once, just tighten those legs and use the muscles, work towards it. Okay, deep breath in. As you exhale, lift those legs up, tighten the belly, the back, everything, hold it, keep holding. Close your eyes, focus, feel. Feel what's holding you up. And as slow as you can, lower. Good. And bend those legs and relax. It's a hard one. Now let's try not to hold our breath because I bet half of you out there are holding your breath. All right, after we get up, we exhale, then we go to easy breathing. All right, tight. tighten, straighten those legs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and lift and hold, tighten. Feel the strength that you've got. Keep going, keep going. If you have to lower, go very slowly. And release. Nice. And bend. Right. And one more time. Legs straight out. Deep breath in. Exhale. Lift with everything you've got. Hold, 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 hold. Hold. Keep holding. Keep tightening. And very slowly lower. Even slower, 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 slower. Excellent. And bend your knees, give yourself a break. Okay, good. Well, now it's time to sit up again because we're gonna do our forward stretch, a review from last time. So let's cross our legs. Sitting up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lean forward, flat back, hands, are flat. Now for some of you, maybe you can't even touch the ground, but you don't want to stretch forward like this to touch the fingertips. You want to keep it nice and relaxed on your chest. All right, again. Deep breath in. As you exhale, tuck your chin around your back. Continue to stretch forward, keeping the elbows down, head down, and just melt into the stretch. Heads relaxed and down. slow as you can, one vertebra at a time, roll up, good, okay, let's just turn and look over our right shoulder for a moment, and let's go to the other side, good, all right, let's do this one again, same side, deep breath in, exhale, lean forward, flat back. Nice. Hands down, flat, elbows down. Feel the stretch, close your eyes, use your breath. Each time you exhale, relax wherever you're tight. 
and either go a little farther forward or just keep relaxing. Deep breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin around your back and complete the stretch. As slow as you can, one vertebra at a time. Roll up, neck, and then head will be last. Excellent. Let's put the other leg in front so we get an even stretch on our tush. Sitting up nice and tall, deep breath in, and exhale, lean forward, flat back. Work the stretch, close your eyes. You, again, you might find one side's a little bit tighter than the other, that's okay, just work it. Deep breath in, exhale, tuck your chin, round your back. Continue to stretch on your own. As slow as you can, roll up one vertebra at a time. Great. Let's look over our right shoulder, just kind of twist. As you twist around, relax your lower back and see if you can go a little bit farther. That's it. And then come on back around and do the other side. Crossing over, push against your knee. Nice and easy. Relax your lower back and see if you can go farther. Great. And back around. Last time. Sit up nice and tall. Deep breath in. Exhale. Forward flat back. That's it. Feel the stretch. You can move your shoulders up and down, wiggle. Breathe in. Exhale, tuck your chin around your back and continue the stretch. as slow as you can. Roll up from your lower back. And sit up nice and tall. Ah, that feels good. Okay, now we're gonna get on our side, do a side leg thigh extension. So let's put our feet down here. Support your head, hand in front again so that you don't roll back and hurt your back. Bottom leg is gonna be bent, half in front, half behind you. Top leg is coming up. You're going to try and get the thigh as close as you can to your chest and then leave it there. That doesn't move. The only part that moves is from your knee to your foot. And you stretch that leg out. Now you can support your head or you can take this hand, I'm using my elbow, and help pull this leg forward. And just stretch. Use your breath. Try and relax. And if you find that it's not enough stretch, then you bring your toes towards your nose. To keep relaxing. And as slow as you can, bend and hold it there for a moment. All right, let's do it again. Deep breath in, exhale, stretch. Bring your toes in if you want that extra stretch. And bend and relax. And we're gonna do it one more time. All right, get that thigh as close as you can to your chest. Stretch that leg out. Now keep using your breath, keep relaxing. And again, if you need an extra stretch, bring your toes down towards you. Use your breath, relax. As if you could relax in this position. <laughs> and bring that leg back in and put that leg down. Let's go to the other side so you can help push yourself up and swivel your feet and legs over to the other side. All right. Top hand in front, lower leg is bent, top leg comes up, thigh to your chest, hold on, don't let it go. And stretch that leg out as far as you can. 
And if you need to, you can bring your toe in and get a better stretch. Keep relaxing though as you're there. Use your breath. And bend and relax. Again, bring that leg up. Stretch that leg out. Bring your toes in if you need to. And relax. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. Now let's say your thigh is in here and you can only get your leg here and you feel a stretch. That's exactly where you wanna go. You want everybody to go to the maximum of their stretch. So they, everybody needs to get something out of this. Okay, last time. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and stretch that leg. Keeping the thigh towards your chest. Toes in if you need that extra stretch. And bend that leg in. Good, and let's put it down for a moment and rest. All right, now the next one we're gonna do is gonna be on our hands and knees. And it's the hands and knee, we're gonna raise our arm and our leg at the same time, and it's the opposite. So we're gonna take our right foot, stretch it out, lift it up, and lift the opposite arm, tighten that belly, the back. You don't wanna look up because you'll lose your balance. You wanna just keep a nice focus in front. And bring that leg and arm down. Good. Let's go to the other side and lift that leg up, arm up. Good. Keep stretching. Think of the nice tight trunk, stomach, back, and down. Good. Change again, lift up. And back down. And last one, stretch up. And back down. Okay, let's come back to a seated position. And I'm gonna throw in a new stretch. It's a seated hip stretch. Let's uh, get both legs straight. Gonna cross one leg over. And you can lean back with your hands behind you. Nice flat back. Now, to make it a better stretch, what you're gonna do is bend this, the straight leg, sneak it up, and try and put it flat. And you'll feel a nice stretch. If it's not enough, Try and sit up straight and you will feel a nice hip stretch. There we go. Easy breathing. I think this one would be one you'd want to hold your breath, but let's take a deep breath in and out. Keep relaxing and see if you can stretch a little bit farther. In and out. One more deep breath in and out. Great. And gently straighten that leg out. Ah, this is a good stretch. All right, let's do the same side again. And bring that, sneak that foot flat, bring it back to your chest. Now you're leaning back, and what I want you to do is sit up straight and see if you can get a little bit closer. And that'll extend that stretch. Good, easy breathing, relax. Feel that nice stretch in your hip. Excellent. And slowly, let that leg out, and let's change sides. Crossing over above your knee. Bring the straight leg, sneak that foot flat. Now you might feel a big stretch just by leaning back here. For those that need an extended stretch, you can bring your foot a little bit closer to you. Sit up taller and feel that hip stretch. Nice. There we go. Excellent. And relax. Only one more time and Again, bring that leg up, stretch, feel that hip, deep breath in, relax. Excellent, okay, Let's take the leg down, have a seat. Thank you for being with us. Remember, we're working on healthy behaviors, sleeping patterns are very important. Your assignment is take that log, write down how many hours you get, how you feel when you wake up, and maybe write a suggestion to yourself on how to change it so that you can get the most out of your life. Thanks, we'll see you next time.
this is your time to relax. Deep breath in, eyes are closed. As you exhale, you clear your mind and let go. Breathing in so slowly, filling the lungs full of fresh air. Exhale, let go. Picture yourself walking on a beautiful hillside. The sun is out. The wind is blowing. You feel the freshness on your face. As you look around you, it's spring. New energy, new life forms. You can hear the birds. You just feel the energy as you walk through the fields. The flowers are up, brilliant colors. You can almost taste the colors. You continue to walk, you feel safe. Take a look around. You can see forever. Blue skies. Nature surrounding you. Renewing, refreshing, re-energizing. Keep the scenario in your head. The freshness, the smells, the sounds, the textures. Very slowly take your top arm, pressing yourself up to a sitting position. You close your eyes quickly and you still can see the beautiful flowers and the hillside. <laughs>